Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Friday the 6th of April, the local media headlines today. Nearly all our media this morning gives space to the latest Care Quality Commission report, which is scathing in its criticism of the Royal Cornwall Hospital at Truro. Cornwall Reports says the CQC is clearly running out of patience and has now issued a Section 29A warning notice which gives the Trust just seven days to make the required improvements. Cornwall Reports also dived into the data pool to find out which of Cornwall's public sector employers are better than others at dealing with the gender pay gap. So far we've found only one Cornwall hospice care where women earn more than men. Everywhere else, particularly in the education sector, there's a huge discrepancy in favour of men. The St Ives Times and Echo is out today and brings us up to date with the latest developments in a long-running planning row. Developers now have permission for 16 plots in the woods of Trelloyan Manor Hotel, but that consent didn't come without a judicial review. Now town councillors are looking at the detail of what's proposed and they're clearly still not happy. Cornwall Live reported the discovery of a woman's body on the beach at Newquay. The body was found at Fistral Beach on Wednesday. Police say they are not treating her death as suspicious. The Falmouth packet covered the visit of the Duke of Gloucester to Coverack, where he thanked those involved in the recovery operation which followed last July's flooding. And finally, the Cornish Times told us about the visit of youngsters from 36 schools to the Royal Cornwall Show, where they learnt about food and farming. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching this. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Have a great weekend. So until Monday, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.